her family inconsolable. For her teenage son, Sikola's death has plunged him into a new life as a breadwinner. It is, it is heavy to carry, it is heavy to carry, but I for sure know that it is something that I, I have to, uh, to, to carry, I, I have to, to, to persevere, I have to make sure that I do not break, because if I break, my siblings will break, and there is nothing that will come out on that. Sukola's friends and colleagues described her as a person who could easily be identified by her laughter. Melita was a quiet person as she had already been described. You would only hear her through her laughter. Her laughter was what brought us joy. Can you please, as authorities, do something about this issue of these monsters called pit bulls? The regional ANC Women's League say that they will be talking to local government in the area to teach pit bull owners on how to handle the animals. We can't allow our people having pit bull dogs in their homes. Why are they keeping those dogs? Because those dogs are very dangerous. So we will also engage with the municipality to have bylaws that will assist us and that will guide us on how we should treat our dogs at home, on how which dogs must we keep at home because you can't keep a dangerous dog at home knowing very well that it will eat our people. The court case against the owner of the pit bull that killed Sikole in Chabeleng Masebe has been postponed to the 12th of January for a formal bail application. During Masebe's second appearance, the court heard that he was in possession of both South African and Zimbabwean identity documents. The court will now have to verify his dual citizenship. Nchabeleng Masebe is facing charges of culpable homicide. Mahlaku Koman, SABC News, Kromuk in Bechom, Limpopo.